We woke up to news of a strong earthquake in central Italy this morning, which caused extensive damage and loss of life. Joining us today in the studio to discuss chances of a major earthquake occurring here is Dr. Giddy Baer of the Geological Survey of Israel. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Israel is located on the Syrian-Africa rift. How are we do for a big one soon? And can we expect a major earthquake here in Israel, taking into account that the last major earthquakes in the country destroyed Jerusalem and Sfat? Yeah, we are due to a major earthquake. We don't know when it will come. We know more or less where it will stri strike. It will strike somewhere along the Dead Sea Rift, which you, you call the Syrian African uh, Rift. So it will strike somewhere along this rift, and uh, we have to be prepared for it, of course. Dr. Baer, there was a five-point five point magnitude earthquake in southern Israel in May of this year. Is this a sign that a stronger one is on its way here? No, it's not necessarily a sign of a stronger one uh, coming soon after it. Uh, usually, uh, earthquakes of that size occur once in a few years. And we had several ones, several of those uh, magnitude in recent uh, decades. So signs for a major one are much more complicated to, to identify. How damaging would an earthquake similar to the size and strength of the one in Italy be in Israel? Well, the, the recent earthquake in 1927 was of that uh, magnitude. It was 6.2. It was along the uh, Dead Sea. And it uh, had about 300 uh, fatalities in Jerusalem, in uh, Amman, in Ramle and Lod, and in other places. But that was uh, about almost 100 years ago, when the buildings were, were built uh, differently and where there were much less population. So no one could really guess. Well, we have some kind of maps that uh, are about to to calculate the numbers of uh, injured fatalities. I cannot say exactly at this moment what would be the toll of uh, a 6.2 earthquake, but we can, upon request, we can, we can uh, do the calculation and say more or less what would be the toll of such an earthquake. Are there any, any specific areas in Israel that are more prone to earthquakes than the other areas? Yeah, well, the Syrian African Rift, the Dead Sea Rift, is prone to the earthquake itself. So most of the sources of the earthquakes are along that, uh, that zone, from uh, Metula in the north to Elat and further south and further north also. Uh, that those are the earth areas where the earthquakes will occur, where the fault will move and create the waves. But there are areas which are more prone to damage due to the uh, specific site conditions of, of those uh, areas. For example, in many of the recent earthquakes, the recent large ones in the last uh, century, for example, or the last um, uh, thousand years, places like Ramle Lod were, uh, suffered much more damage than areas which were uh, cities which were on rock, because the soft material which these places are uh, built on uh, amplifies the seismic waves. So there are areas, and we have maps, which uh, actually show which areas are more prone to amplification than other areas. How prepared is Israel to deal with the after effects of a ma major earthquake? The after effect or the with the with the earthquake and the after with effect. With the earthquake and the after. Well, Israel is trying to be prepared as best as possible. Of course, we have a lot more to do. We we are uh, having maps which would help us plan correctly, not on areas which are magnified, but on areas which are less magnified. We have maps which will help us plan not on landslides, but in other areas. And the, the most recent development is that uh, we are now uh, building a uh, short-time uh, short uh, early warning system, which will not uh, warn before the earthquake occurs, <coughs> but it will warn the population immediately after the earthquake occurs and before the destructive waves will arrive uh, the population. So this system is working in a way that it will uh, catch the waves very close to the, to the source and it will deliver the notice 
very quickly so that places which are far enough away from the source will get the notice before the waves come and will have a few seconds, maybe up to 20 seconds, to, to evacuate the building or to do any other measures that are needed. Is this system in place already? This is, uh, uh, at the moment, it is uh, uh, prepared. It is, we have a bid for, for the construction of the, of the instruments. And I assume that in the next uh, one year or a year and a half, it will be ready. Then we'll have about a year more to, to check it, to see that we don't have uh, false alarms, that we don't miss some alarms. And the problem is that, that the good problem is that we don't have so many earthquakes to test it. So the testing time will also be a little longer than it may have been in other countries like California or Japan, where there are a lot of earthquakes that you can test by them. <laughs> so this is the good and the bad news with our system. But in, in a couple of years, we are hoping to have this uh, uh, system working. And maybe this would uh, reduce a little bit of the, of the casualties. It would not reduce the damage because the way will arrive, but it will help people to evacuate the buildings and so on. So it would reduce fatalities. That's what we hope. Dr.